Uh, I'm still thinking about it, Sarah. I'm still thinking about it. We're here live at Lighthouse Point Park, where it's one of 14 sites around the city that has splash pads available to kids and kids at heart. Really, they're very refreshing. And the Long Island Sound is another 50 yards away. If you haven't been here, this is the place to be to cool off. While the heat is on across Connecticut over the next several days, the expected high temperatures in New Haven would not normally trigger the city's high heat protocols. But because of the air quality that is particularly bad over this, uh, the rest of this week, we decided to implement our heat protocols. And while the various city departments will check on those most at risk. We also check on, we have a, a good number of encampments around the city where uh, the unhoused live, and we regularly check on people there to make sure that they have support and resources. As in most cities, all New Haven libraries are available as cooling systems. Keeping cool in all respects is important. People get frustrated. We see a spike in domestic violence, shots fired, some stuff like that. So our message is, in these hot times, keep each other cool. Yeah, in more ways than one. The chief said his officers often carry water with them as well. Just on Sunday basketball games at New Hallville, my uh, plainclothes officers actually decided to keep ice cold water on hand and they hand it out to the players and all the people there. Uh, and I think it's important to underscore that with this kind of heat that we're seeing, uh, people could potentially die. So uh, making sure that if you are a senior or if your family members are seniors or your neighbor is, just regularly check on them. Okay, now I can't resist. I've got to try to keep the microphone dry though. Let's see. See if I can dodge this one. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Really not that bad. Does anybody have a towel? Woo!